So here side by side, I have two of the most recent video card launches from uh, ATI and NVIDIA respectively. We've got the Radeon 4890 one gig, as well as the GeForce GTX 275. Now, we will be talking mostly about the 4890 because we don't actually have any GTX 275s quite yet. However, we can show you what's new about this card and how it compares to the old 4870. So here it is up close and personal, the 4890. As you can see at the back, like most graphics cards these days, you've got two dual link DVI connectors. Now you can adapt one of these for HDMI out, including sound output. And that's one new thing about the 4890. It'll do up to 7.1 sound out by the HDMI port. Then you'll find two Crossfire connectors at the back. You only actually need one of these to connect it to one other card. And then at the very back of the card, you'll see two six pin PCI Express power connectors. So they haven't changed the requirements from your power supply as far as connectors go from the 4870. Now it's a very similar looking card, but what they've done to change it most dramatically is actually under the hood. They haven't changed the manufacturing process, but they did tweak the chip for higher clock speeds. It's up 850 megahertz from 650 megahertz on the 4870 on the core itself and the RAM is clocked a little bit higher too. Now the big question on everyone's minds is how does the 4890 compare to the other card that just recently launched, the 275? Now talking to the editor over at Hardware Canucks, basically what he was saying in a nutshell. The 4890 and the 275 exchange blows, particularly at resolutions under 1920 by 1200. When you get up to 2560 by 1600, the GTX 275 really comes into its own. Something else to bear in mind is that the 4890 is slightly less expensive and it does use less power while you're gaming, but the GTX 275 actually uses less power while you're just at the desktop, which the reality of it is you'll spend most of your time doing. Either way, it's great to see a competitive offering from both camps, and thank you for watching NCIX Tech Tips.